All right, we're going up against Auto in the UBL season five, week six. I am very nervous. I have had a very rough time prepping for this game, and Auto is among the best players there is out there. So, yeah, it looks the part. This is just going to be one of those teams that just breaks me, and um, there is really nothing you can do about it. I'm I have a really like dumb cool idea I want to try to abuse, but. Um, I'll be honest, I'm going to struggle. Um, hmm. I really like leading off with Helios, which is some Scarf, actually, variant of. Um, um, what do you call it? Scarf variant of Rotom. And just overall, I have a very, very aggressive team in mind, and the purpose here is to try to break him early. And if I fail to do so, then that just means that Auto is gonna be all the stronger for it. I mean, like I said, this is a good team, he's performing really well. Uh, it's just been hard to prep for and combine that with um, everything else around me it is just haven't necessarily allowed me to uh, play as much as I want to or uh, putting down the time that I need to really do well. Auto for me is just uh, <laughs> a tough guy. I definitely encourage you guys to check his content out as his league content is just really, really good. I really can't say much more than that. He's provided quality content. So anyway, to Auto, good luck, have fun. And for me, don't die too early. Let's see, leads off with Voltergeist. So, I argue that um, that I am the inferior Rotom. Let's see, do I have a good switch in? I guess I do. I gotta switch out to um, try to maintain that I am not, I don't wanna stay in versus this. So I hope I give away that essence as I am Scarf, I just wanna, don't want to reveal it as he should Volt Switch freely. It's Magnets, alright? So we will always have speed in, which is great, so we will always do resisted damage. So let's see what comes in. Hmm. We have Akaberry after all, so I'm not too worried if Cinderace comes in. Sounds kind of cocky. I'm, I'm worried if that comes in. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Because if Steelix comes in, then I think I can freely set up a trick room. Uh, there is the Ockenberry guy. So, yeah, that's the thing. Like, for me, since I have Akaberry, I can easily set up a Trick Room. And, um... Oh, he U-turns. Cool. Doesn't necessarily do anything. So what does he decide to switch in? That's the question. Biohazard. All right, cool. So... We're not out slow in this, I know that. He could flip turn, I guess. I'm gonna send in Destroyer, I think. Like, if he goes for a Spex hit, then that's gonna be alright too. I think. Right, Sludge Wave. So we're gonna eat that somewhat alright. It's not. <laughs> it's not the best hit I ever took, but. You know, we'll take it. So, switch ins. Steelix makes sense. Rotom is kind of crazy, so... Ah, Stonage is quite free. I'll, I'll go with that. I don't want Earthquake versus this. And I know his best switching is um, Rotom, but Steelix also makes sense. Um, did, did, I like that I gave him some pressure here. It was necessarily not my intention, but I like the situation. 
So this is side withdrawal, which I think is fair. Goes to midnight. So I guess that was the in-between play. Can we connect this? We can. Yeah, big boy damage. So this is a fat one. Fold it up with a mega horn and hope I connect. Nice, there we go. So, I think that's kills. No! <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. However, he won't be able to take another one of those. So we got one more hit in us to pull that off. I think he realizes that too, that he potentially dies. Come on, man. Does this side to stay in? Would you connect it? And that is Necrozma gone for sure. Oh, you fuck is this? <laughs> oh my god, okay. Okay. So I got more oxen. Psychic, yeah, it should do alright. Oh, it killed. <laughs> How about that? So. You should probably have Heat Wave too. I'm actually going to do this. Um, it's not psychic, most likely. Like the combination I see ahead of me is. Um, I just got trick here. Um, he could Morning Sun, I think. Or he could set up Stealth Rocks. If he sets up Stealth Rocks, then I get some nice momentum. Or I think his uh, Rodom. Um, Right, it does decide to stay in. Please, I beg of you, go for rocks. Morning Sun. Right, he's logged into that. That's cool. He's all the choice scar, which is unfortunate for him. Um, let's see. I think we both switch here. <laughs> Please, I don't want to see Steelix Biohazard. Yeah, that's cool. So, I think we scare him out directly with this. I'm purple. I am very purple. <laughs> Alright. Um, I think facade is quite safe. I mean, there's nothing wrong with knockoff either. I should probably be able to score a kill here anyway. I think this, this does invite the Steelix to come in, however. He just decided to stay in. I'm very surprised about that, but at the same time... Um, here's going to Sledge Wave, and it should do good damage because of that ability. I'll be honest, I'm kind of surprised he um, stayed in to take that. <laughs> right, for starting here, he's probably sack plane. So what comes in now? We follow him. Cinderace feels um, is very liable. There we go. There he is. And without Rhyperior, I'm not looking that stellar. So I'm actually gonna send in Helios because I got my Rocky Helmet there. He can't do anything or too much versus me. High jump kick will do a whole lot, but I'll get some chipping. I'll, I'll like chipping. Hmm. 
What are moves? Are, like, he has no super effective move versus me, but like Hydeon Cape should do a whole lot. Here comes a power ball, or nothing to it. Oh, it did good. Did very good damage. Is it banded? Nah, I think it's a switch up moves. I think a Volt Switch again. If it can't switch, then so be it. But I have a reason to think he could potentially be banded. No, here comes the U-turn. Damn it. But, but, we got some rocket element damage, which is always great. And I really want to see Steelix, I'll, I'll be honest. I think the cross, however, is just, yeah. I was going to say, like, that's, that's the freest of the switch-ins. We did all right. We're a clear offensive, so yeah, of course we did all right. Now, I gotta rely on Akaberry to kind of save me here. I hope. Because I think this is kind of my last itch effort. Gonna frisk that choice cough. <laughs> so, Trick Room. And if it doesn't end Heat Wave, then hopefully I can get something out of this. Here's the Heat Wave. Oh, please stomach this. I need you to so badly. Oh, yeah, yeah, there was no competition there. That's right. <laughs> I was like, hmm. But he is locked into that, and I don't enjoy switching into it. So, uh, I know I can't kill him, but I can sure as hell can do a lot of damage. I don't know if it's obvious, but I'm very much just playing, like, fast and loose here. There we go. Nice kill. So, yeah. Gonna send in Alpha. Because, let's think about this. How many turns do I have of Trick Room? Like two, three. So you clearly sex place this and there's nothing to it. At least I think so. He is quinking, quinking, thinking about it. But for me, it's easy play. It's just let go. <laughs> So, Steelix, will it be able to kill me? He has his sturdy intact, so I won't be able to retaliate kill him. Hmm. Ragnarok, there we go. That sounds like a Steelix name. And while I am slow, I'm not that slow. But I don't have any real switching either. It's a shame, really. Um, I so badly wanted to go for Stealth Rocks, just being cheeky, but he needs to attack here. Yeah. Oof. It should kill. It should, yeah. Mm. It sucks, but I have no real response to kind of avoid it either. So. So what I'm going to do now is uh, go for that Choice Bandit Earthquake. And I know it's obvious, but quite frankly, I have no other response. Right? Actually, he's going to Earthquake himself, so with that in mind, this is what I do. I'm predicting his prediction to actually switch out here. Even if the earthquakes, I force it out by Hydro Pump. 
I am I am worried, but uh, quite frankly, I think this is my only real play. Because I think Rodon comes in. Got him. Or not really, but I, you know, got him. <laughs> so... Volt switch here. We are on speeding, which is nice. I won't do anything, but it's nice. <laughs> and uh, send me an Ava, and he's gonna Volt switch, and that's GG, I think. For me, there is, I can't win after that. <laughs> Come on, cause of Thunderbolt, nice. Oh, oh, it's up there. It is in the range for sure. Leaf Storm. Yeah, that's the combination. So yeah, I don't know if it was obvious enough, but for me, I just want this battle to end. There is... Uh... I just can't. I just can't break through with this. I only have two more games to settle, and then after that, I think... Um... To be honest, like after that ends, I'm just happy it's over because I just the league content for me has just been too much. It's just simply been too much to actually do right, and um, I just, I've been struggling. I've been really struggling. So I hope um, Auto, which of course the host and uh, the league owner, understands that this season has not been good for me because. Everything else around me just haven't allowed anything that I do to work properly. And, um, yeah, I mean, gonna play this game better? Maybe, most likely. But the time has just hasn't been there. I settle for a team that I want to use for my remaining, like, matches, and this is it. So, I just really want Order to finish the game off, as I have no intention of... Um, oh, look, we do good damage, though. Uh, but I have no intention of actually trying to um, make a grand or a, a grand slam or anything like that for this. I don't mean to sound salty because I'm not. I just I was kind of hoping that was going to be working somewhat, but uh, at the same time I knew what I was going up against, and uh, I just wanted the battle to end so fast as it could. <laughs> and I think he understood that, or I think I left my mark about that. So, in theory, I guess the Elite was never possibly switching if I had our defense. Which was something I was considering for this matchup. And considering the remaining months, maybe that would have been the right set. Um, oh, look! I actually are able not to be 5 though, which is cool. Um, so, there we go. Still is gone. So, I'm just waiting for... Um, Rona comes in and wrap up the game. By the way, I was really surprised that Necrozma could take so many hits as it did. Um, hey, that's not Rodom. So, right, there we go. Um, Auto. I really mean this when I say this, GG. I really hope we have a chance to battle on different circumstances. Because as of right now, if it's not, like I said, obvious, it, the time for me for leagues are just not here. And um, I just, I can't sit down and plan teams. Usually when I go and plan about uh, league, league battles, I can sit at least like for a whole day just planning the matchup and seeing things in front of me. But now I basically have an hour to kind of gen the team, send it in, hope it works. And... Uh, Usually it doesn't, and um, you're going up against a player that um, absolutely have this head game, and you are absolutely about to lose. And um, I went in with the game knowing it's going to be tough, and um, I don't think I have any reason to debate that it wouldn't ever be anything but that. So Toro, really, really GG. Make sure to check out his side of this battle, and uh, hopefully this team 
get some more fun games because I do have my intention of using this for my remaining battles because I really want the Trick Room to work at least once. So with that said guys, as always, thank you for watching. Have a great everyone. Take care. Bye.